Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be filming a Zara haul. So I know it's been two months since the shop's opened. I've not even done a haul yet. I've not done a haul for two months. I am actually quite shocked to myself because everything that I've got is of a colour other than black and white, apart from this bodysuit that I'm wearing right now. Because I just feel like I'm so sick of wearing black all the time. I feel like... I don't know how I feel, but I don't want to wear black anymore. I need to put myself on a spending ban. I feel like when I first started YouTube, all I was doing was hauls. So that is kind of like my niche. So I kind of want to get back into doing that. I have got four hauls. I've also got an ASOS, Primark and a Sheen haul. So those videos are going to be uploaded consecutively. Everything that I've got in this haul was bought from the store, either Trafford Centre or Manchester. But I will have a look online, see if I can find it. And if I do, I will link it down below. This is going to be a summer haul. I've not got anything in here that is not summer vibes. If you do enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. So I'll start with what I'm wearing. This white bodysuit. The famous Zara bodysuit. I'm pretty sure every girl in the whole entire world owns a Zara bodysuit. And if Zara ever discontinued these bodysuits, Girls, we need to come together. There is a petition being made. I've already planned. I've already planned it in my head. I'm pretty sure a lot of you will agree with me. We all need to sign that fucking petition because I don't know how I'm going to survive without a Zara bodysuit. I actually brought out different colours. So when I went in, I had an orange one. I think that's all I saw. And I'm not going to lie, I need that freaking bodysuit. I've got the white one, the black one, and they've also got a nude one as well. A nude one I've literally had for months. It's got loads of bubbles on the front, so I really, really need to buy a new one. The white one is the one I get the most wear out of, especially when it's hot outside. So I do feel like I need to buy the white one again, just so then I've got a backup. So the next thing that I'm going to show you that I picked up was these denim shorts. Please ignore the creases. I have worn these, but obviously I need to provide them for the haul. I need to show you. Thanks for that. I'm going to put them on so I can show you what they look like. So, these are the shorts that I got. They are a mom style short. This is what they look like at the back. I love this little brown label. I didn't actually own any denim shorts that were like too small for me because I think everyone is in the same boat. They have put on a few pounds in lockdown. I am one of those people. So, I found these ones in there. These were only $19.99, which I think is a bargain. Zara is not actually as expensive as... as so I did also pick up another pair of shorts, quite long, they come up just above my knee and they are like wide and frayed, let me put them on. I'm gonna have to show you like this, there's no other way, but I don't really know what possessed me to buy these. But I saw them and I just fell in love with them and I was just imagining them with like an oversized shirt, some sandals or even some like flip flop heels or something, I thought they looked really really nice. Very versatile as well because I feel like you can dress them smart, you can dress them casual, you can dress them up to go out. I feel like you can do a lot with these shorts. Again, these were only $19.99. I will try and find the link for them if I can find them online. So the next thing that I'm going to show you is my favourite thing that I bought from Zara so far. If you follow me on Instagram you would have already seen me wear these but i picked up these pink pants pink is very much in fashion and i am not mad about that pink is my favorite color i am just so obsessed with these pants so they are quite short i'm only five foot three and they literally fit perfect they are a very small fitting so i did get them in an eight which is my usual size and i had to take them back and get a 10. the only bad thing i would say about these they're not actually high-waisted they sit just on your belly button and they flare out a little bit at the bottom as well i'm gonna put them on this one this is where they come up to, as you can see, like my belly button's here, so they're not exactly high-waisted. I wish I could pull them up a little bit more, but I don't know how that's going to look in the lady part area. I'm literally trying to show you the bottom of them, but I don't think I can do that. These are honestly the comfiest things I've ever bought. They do come with a matching blazer, I think, but it wasn't in stock when I went there. I think it's like a little crop blazer. These again were only £20 which I'm quite shocked about, to be honest, because I thought they would be more expensive. I have had a look online to see if I can find the blazer, but I think the colour looks a little bit off. I'm not sure if it's just because it's online, it looks a bit different, or what the situation is, but I would rather go in store and buy it so that I can see that the colour definitely does match. I don't actually think it would look that bad, even if it was a different coloured pink, because I think different coloured pinks, the contrast is nice. Moving on, we have a summer dress, an orange ribbed summer dress. I don't really know how I feel about this. I really do want to like it, but I just don't feel very comfortable in a dress. Probably because I've not worn for literally the longest time. But this colour is just so nice. They did also have it in a light blue, I think, and they've also got it in black and white. You are going to be shocked when I tell you the cost of this dress. Let me just show you the dress. So it's a bracelet neck style dress. Literally the worst thing about these dresses, is you can see your belly button. Anyway, it is a midi dress. This is what it looks like at the back. This dress was £11.99. 
£11.99 can we just take a minute to appreciate the Joy Life selection in Zara. I did pick this up in a medium just so it was a little bit more comfortable. I didn't want it to be too tight. I don't really think that I suited the colour orange but I am really feeling it. I think you do need to have a tan if you're blonde. So again another orange number. I am so obsessed with this jumper. I didn't actually see that they did it in any other colours, but I'm hoping that they do, just so I can get them. I really, really want it in pink, or if they've got like a nice little blue colour. I thought this would look really nice with the denim shorts as well. It is a bit thick and a bit hot for this weather, I'm not going to lie to you. This jumper was, again, £19.99. I'm sorry. I just really, really love this jumper, and everyone was wearing them sort of like last year, like the checkered style ones, but I just thought this one was a little bit different, and I'm just so obsessed with the colour. The next thing that I got, I'm not 100% on this. I did only get this last week when I went to Liverpool and I think I am going to take it back. So it's just like a little green bralette, green cycle shorts. I do really, really love this cohort. I love the colour of the cohort, but the only thing I don't like is that I picked it up in an extra small and it looks tiny, but it's actually quite big. It was £12 for the bottoms and then £12 for the top as well, so £24 for the set. I did also pick it up in this salmon colour and I've lost the crop top. <laughs> like, I've literally, I found it the other day and I'm sure I put it in the pile for the haul, but it's literally just gone missing again. So you kind of get the gist. I think this one does fit a little bit better than the green one. So this is what the other bottoms look like. I really, really love sets like this because I feel like they are very, very casual. You could wear them with trainers, but as well, you could wear them with a blazer and heels and I think they look really, really nice to dress up as well. You can like tie it at the back so then it goes a little bit, it'll go a little bit like tighter, but I don't really want it to look like that. <laughs> this is a problem. Next and last, I think, thing that I bought uh, that I'm going to show you is this white oversized shirt it's not really oversized it's extremely creased because i have worn it and washed it and everything just seems to come out of the washing machine extremely creased but i picked up this shirt because i thought i've just really wanted a shirt for so long like just a white shirt like this a lot of people will look at them and think they are quite like office vibes but i disagree you could wear this under the v-neck jumper that i got or i did wear it a couple of days ago with denim shorts i kept one side tucked out and i wore it with chunky tan sandals and a tan handbag and it was a vibe i feel like it was very summery went to brunch i feel like it was very brunch vibes you could also wear it with heels i'm just really really obsessed with it i love it so much as well i think you all know what i'm about to say this shirt in pink you will have seen it everyone has got it I want it. It's one of those things I'm probably going to wear it once and then I'm probably not going to wear it again. This shirt was only £19.99. I'm pretty sure I have bought some other stuff and this is all I can find. That is the end of the video guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did smash a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!